Greetings and welcome to our sixth installment, installment number six of Overcoming Sin. Yesterday we talked about the difference between entering into temptation and you being led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So you can enter into temptation or temptation can come to you when you've been led into uh, a place where you can be tempted. That was in terms of detecting that indeed I am being tempted and the reason I'm being tempted is because I'm doing something right. Because you can be tempted for doing because you're doing something right or you can be tempted because you're doing something wrong. So today we talk about the issue of or revenge. The issue of revenge. One of the things that gets you to detect that in fact there is something wrong or you are already getting into the area of sin is when you feel certain urges, certain feelings, certain desires, certain inclinations, certain leanings. You start to feel those and you know that indeed this is not of God. So the Bible makes it clear that when you look at a woman to lust after her, you have already sinned. When you hate and say bad things about a brother, you have already committed the murder. So these are feelings. We need to understand that. Spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. Once something is happening at higher levels, you know that it is going to influence your ability to operate even at lower levels. Hence, therefore, we want to look at a very specific area. And that is in Romans 12 verse 19 where the Bible talks about the following. Do not revenge. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will avenge. And this is important because when you start to feel like you must get even with someone, you may feel aggrieved. And what they did to you may be genuinely something wrong. But Christ-likeness demands that you do not sin on the back of another sin. So because someone has done wrong to you, that is actually a temptation. Can you handle that? That's how the life of a Christian needs to be clear. Someone does something wrong to you. You have been aggrieved. You have been wronged. But because you have been wronged, that in itself, your being wronged, is a temptation to you for you to revenge. Because once you revenge, you have sinned. So the responsibility of a Christian is colossal, it's huge. It means whenever you have been aggrieved, whenever something has been done against you, understand that indeed what I need to do here is let go. Allow God to deal with this. If I'm God's child and God has already said that whoever has done something against me is as good as doing it against God, then God will deal with that person. So one of the important uh, aspects that we need to recognize is that whenever we are grieved, we need to allow for the Holy Spirit to take control of us and we allow for God the Father and God the Son to deal with whoever it is that has aggrieved us. God bless you.